Let me introduce what's going on today. Hi guys, it's me Tamara Nicola and I'm here in Glen Cove, Long Island, okay, New York. And I'm volunteering today with my boyfriend. We're volunteering here at EOC and they're gonna be giving out like a whole bunch of goods today. We're gonna help out wherever needed. And hopefully later I'll be able to talk to uh, the head here at the, the Glen Cove Division and uh, you know see how this thing works and be able to share some more information with you guys give you some more insight about what they do how they do it and how you can also spread the word and hopefully benefit from this program okay so I'm gonna put on my sneakers get out of the car and we're gonna get to work okay volunteer day happy Saturday see you guys soon it's gonna change So I am here at the event, guys, and let me tell you, this event was so planned out thoroughly, okay, from beginning to end. They knew exactly what they wanted to do with everyone and how they wanted to arrange things, and things were definitely in order, so there wasn't any chaos, you know, things just went really smoothly, and people were just at work, just making things come alive, making things come together harmoniously for everyone to enjoy. It was just a day of just let go all of your worries and just come together and let's just have a good time and just give and enjoy and receive and I loved it I was here for all of it you know I feel like this was definitely a time to remember this was definitely an event to remember and an event to look forward to in the future and guys not only was this meaningful and charitable honey the music the groovy the, i was grooving okay it was a, it was a time to groove <laughs> the dj was so good guys i was like where did they get this dj does he work for hot 97 like why was he the, why was he that good but the music was popping i don't think i could like share the music on here because of you know <laughs> um you know i don't own the rights to the songs so i'm not going to post anything on here but i really really enjoy the music and um this is what 500 baskets look like 500 easter baskets guys can you believe it can you believe it i love the idea of vlogging there's so many vloggers out there who i adore you know but i, I i'm trying to bring to the table what's unique to me okay and i think sometimes we think oh fashion and, and style can't be tied to you know non-superficial things it can't be tied to you know wanting to help others and and like kind of break your neck for someone else you know it, it seems like fashion is just so personal it's just so selfish in a lot of ways but i'm here to tell you like it's not <laughs> like there are a lot of amazing people a lot of giving people who are into fashion and they use it as a tool to feel good to get out there in the world so that they can help to do more for others right it's kind of like a foundation start thing on uh, how you see yourself and how you want the world to see you you know and you take that and you go out there and you be yourself and you spread love and you spread joy okay so i, I just want to make sure that i'm not just being seen as this this vlogger or influencer who you know it's all about me <laughs> because in my everyday day to life it's not all about me i am always helping others live more abundantly even in my regular day job okay i don't talk about that much but my career uh, outside of vlogging and outside of like my creative world, I'm assisting others live more abundantly and I'm bringing more wellness and harmony to their lives, okay? So, so that's why I wanted to show you guys, you know, EOC and, you know, if you are interested in volunteering as well, you can get to do that. Listen. EOC is an amazing nonprofit organization that's out there doing amazing things, okay? I want to shout out to Irma at the Glen Cove location. Irma is doing, oh my gosh, she's like getting things done and really pushing the envelope so that more people can have access to more free things that they need to help sustain themselves, all right? So kudos to Irma, okay? I'm going to link, like I said, the nonprofit organization and her name down below. Um, 
not only is she a fashionista, you know, she is a go-getter. She is a strong, determined woman who makes a lot of sacrifices for others who are less fortunate. And for that, like, I, I have to interview this woman, okay? I have to interview this Haitian Caribbean force, force of nature, okay? <laughs> So stay tuned Again, for that. It's so nice to be outside getting some vitamin D and seeing all these happy children just running around, you know, with their Easter baskets and their candy and, you know, the stuff that they also won through the raffle and just stuff that was just being given away uh, for these kids and uh, the good food that was, oh, there was so much food as you can see. I'm, you know, I'm showing you guys as I'm talking some of the beautiful photos and videos that I was able to capture during this event and this was just an event for the people it was all about the people all about the children and their families and it was just a great way to also promote what EOC does like we have to spread the word so that more people know about it and so that more people can just take advantage of what they have to offer you know what I mean like let's not pretend like life isn't hard and like you know there aren't folks out there struggling who need who need help and sometimes it's those little things you know um so i was i was just so grateful to be a part of that and shout out to my boyfriend for inviting me to this event you know he has a lot of information and insight with a lot of these things too so he shares that info with me and he builds connections around that so he gets like the word and then he passes it on to me and then I can you know get to decide if I'm if I can make availability to do certain things and help out so shout out to him and shout out to him for telling me listen babe you know you should you should video this and take some pictures and uh use it in your uh in your vlog posts you know um so shout out to him for that I'm I'm so so grateful but guys I won something last night I won something and yesterday evening I won something. I'm so sorry that I didn't post the recap at the end of the evening. And I didn't post the recap at the end of the evening because I was pooped. Like it was a long day. I was tired. By the time my man and I were done, we were like, okay, we have to get some food. <laughs> so we went food hunting and the drive back, you know, took a little bit longer for us to get back to Brooklyn. So... I was poop like I was not going to vlog last night but so I decided to do a follow-up tonight you know this evening it's like I think like 6 30 p.m. here in Long Island where we are it's Easter day and um, my boyfriend and I aren't aren't very religious so <laughs> we're just like hanging out with his family you know doing the whole Easter thing <laughs> but not really doing the whole Easter thing <laughs> it's not that serious you know as far as like how we kind of approach Easter, but it's it's not that traditional. So we're just hanging out with family and getting some good food. But I, I wanted to food, but I, I wanted to get into the car and share what I won yesterday. I didn't even I didn't even expect to win anything. I thought, oh I'm a volunteer, you know, I, I can't win anything. I'm just I'm here to give and help, you know. And they were like, no, you know, um someone from the Waller family who sponsored W A L L w-a-l-l-e-r the waller family sponsored the event yesterday and uh w someone from the waller family was like oh uh, no you get a ticket too you get to be a part of the raffle and i was like what so i got my raffle tickets but i thought that i wouldn't win anything because y'all i have not won anything in years i thought i didn't have a standing chance in hell okay but it turns out that i won something y'all Towards the end, and my boyfriend was like, no, baby, we have to stay until the end because you have raffle tickets and, you know, we have raffle tickets. Let's see if they call the number. And we stayed until the end. And towards the end, y'all, I won something. I cannot believe it. Look, look, look. Okay. Let me take this out. Let me show you guys what I want. Okay. I brought this in the car today just so that I could show you guys because I, I was like, I have to show them. Okay. Do you see the Tory, the Tory Birch? The Tory Burch symbol here, yeah. The logo, okay. Tory Burch and this beautiful, beautiful uh, bag. <laughs> Look at this, so cute. Let me show you what's inside of the bag. Y'all ready? 
You ready? Uh, I can't hear you. Are you ready? Are you ready for what she won? Guys, yesterday at the event, I won through a raffle. I won this Tory Burch wallet. It's a this is a two hundred dollar wallet. It came with the tags and everything. Where's the tag? Oh, and look at the color. Look at the blue and then the cream on the inside. Oh my gosh! And then, oh, I could fit all my. I have like this Gucci wallet. But this is like more compact and then I don't need to use my Gucci wallet as much with this. I can like rotate so then I can like keep my Gucci wallet looking nicer longer if I'm able to rotate the wallet. But oh my gosh, look. Look how beautiful this is. The leather just feels so good. This is my very first Tory Burch item. All right. And this is making me want to get more Tory Burch items. Okay. This is just a beautiful quality wallet. And I love the different compartments. Ah! I can't believe I won this $200. Where's the ticket? Did I take the ticket off? The ticket was in here. I think I probably took it out last night. And it was priced at $198. When I went online, I saw this for $198. And on some sites, I saw it for even $200 and more than $200. So, how beautiful how beautiful so shout out to just having a little bit of faith having some fun going with the flow participating and being present right being present to help others and I got this amazing gift as a result I also was given a a um like a basket like with candy chocolates and some other things too that was just so gorgeous but I wound up giving that to someone else that I know so shout out to EOC okay shout out to all the people out there who who if you're giving it doesn't you know you're, you're giving in your own way and you're helping someone you're helping to better someone's life shout out to you folks okay where would we be without you in this world right I'm going to go with my Tory Burch wallet. Yeah, I'm going to get out of here with my Tory Burch wallet. <laughs> Did I tell you I have a Tory Burch wallet? Okay. <laughs> and I love to love you. Stay tuned for more videos regarding some really cool topics, right? In, in addition to what I usually do. But, you know, I'm trying to fill things out and see what you guys want to see more of or what you want to see less of. So let me know, too, in the comments below, you know, what, what you're into, what you're not into. I know a lot of you guys are here for the fashion. Most of my views I get from my fashion posts, okay, my personal style posts. But, you know, we don't know how this can go. And I'm just bringing me to the table. And, um... I hope you guys enjoy, and I love to love you, and I'll see you again soon. I'm going to go and have some really good Haitian food for my Easter Sunday and really enjoy some quality time with my boyfriend's family, and mwah, I love to love you. I'll see you again. It's your girl, Tamara Nicola, and I'm signing out. Bye. Check the link below. Check in the description box. Check that link so you can see what EOC is all about, and maybe you can figure out maybe how you can sign up or help out if you're in the New York area or if you don't mind traveling to the New York area when they throw events. I'm going to keep you guys posted on future events also. All right. Mwah. Bye.